Tell us what you're working on at the moment. Uh, at the moment I'm working on a project called I'm Innovation and uh, it's actually started by two universities in Iceland, uh, the Reykjavik University which is uh, mostly a business university and the Icelandic Academy for the Arts and uh, they decided to join forces to encourage uh, the business uh, side and the creative side to join forces to create something new. So uh, uh, we created a website that we called imInnovation.org mm -hmm. and uh, that's a platform where people can connect to each other uh, and uh, they can post their ideas and get some feedback on the ideas, uh, help developing them and, and uh, getting the right uh, partners and uh, even capital, venture capitalists. So uh, um, yeah, the hope is to, to connect people and, and help them make their dreams come true. And what's the revenue model for you? <laughs> oh, well, I get paid from the universities see, <laughs> to I do see. it. So it's, just so like it, it, it's, it's just to create the uh, right environment to encourage uh, uh, innovation and, and entrepreneurship. And not only in startups, uh, because I think it's important to realize that innovation should take place uh, everywhere. Uh, not only in, in uh, new companies, but also in established companies and big corporations, uh, in the education system, uh, in the political system, mm -hmm. everywhere. We should uh, be innovative. Uh, uh, everywhere especially at this time you know absolutely, like a, absolutely. Lot of, a lot I of mean, people we've already broken up the status quo um at least here in Iceland, you know, pretty much everything collapsed. Uh, the government, the economic system. So we have the opportunity to uh, build up from scratch. And, and this is the best uh, opportunity we've had uh, ever, I think, to come up with new ideas and, and something new. So um, one of the things that we are doing on I'm Innovation is uh, what I call the million dollar idea giveaway. Okay, that sounds good. Can yeah, I have one? Uh, yeah, sure, <laughs> just pick one. Yeah. Uh, the concept is uh, pretty much that uh, innovators and entrepreneurs, they have usually loads of ideas. Uh, and pretty much everyone has a lot of ideas. So, you know, uh, we, we get this idea, you know, wouldn't it be cool if someone did that or, or, or this? And mm -hmm. we get those ideas yeah. and then we just forget them. Yeah, yeah. Well, you should put them online. Uh, you should put them on uh, I'm Innovation. And then others can read them and say, hey, uh, I could do that. And then they can start that, working on it. my friend, is a very good idea because, um, I mean, the internet has sort of cut out the middleman now. Like, yeah. for example, if you want to get, um, I've forgotten the website, but if you want to get a website designed or um, a logo made, there are loads of websites now where you can put it up, yeah. your, your pitch, and, um, uh, well, your, your idea or your what you want, and then people pitch for the tender. Yeah. And this is sort of becoming a, a, a sort of like a more common practice on the internet, just not going through an agent. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So uh, this will be a platform where you can browse, uh, you know, like a bank of ideas, and uh, you can pick ideas that you like, and you can find someone to work with uh, on, on making that idea a reality. Mm. But what about um, what about sort of like NDAs and stuff? Like, if you put your idea out there, isn't it? Uh, are you scared that it's going to get stolen? Uh, uh, that's a question I get a lot, and uh, um, most people are very afraid of their idea getting stolen. But I recommend to people, if you get an idea, Google it. And I can pretty much assure you that you will almost always find a similar idea on the net. Yes. It's just like that. I mean, everything's been done, right? It's just yeah, finding yeah, a new yeah. way to do it. Yeah, it's like exactly, fashion. exactly, exactly. So uh, there's nothing new under the sun. So um, you shouldn't be afraid of telling people about your idea uh, because there are most likely others who have the same idea. If your idea is so original that no one has uh, got it before, you can be pretty sure you will, have a hard, you will have a hard time convincing people that your idea is actually a good idea. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's pretty much the point. So you should go out there, you should tell people about your idea, and what happens is that suddenly people will uh, come with feedback and they will help you develop the idea, they will bring new uh, viewpoints to it, and your idea, every time you tell people about your idea, it becomes better and better. And the better it gets, the more the chance of it becoming real increases. And you know, a lot of, uh, well, I, I always think that, uh, um, I'm not, I know I'm not alone, that at the moment it's the best time to start a business. Uh, you know, so we're in a global recession, particularly Iceland's down. Yeah. But actually, it'll sort the wheat from the chaff. You know, a shit idea will not get funded. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, it's sort of, um, you know, you can offer your services cheap, but, uh, build a client base. Um, do you think it's a good time to start a business? I think it is, absolutely. I think this is uh, an excellent time to start a new business. And also, people are looking for new ideas. So this is a very good time. It's, it's harder to get funded, uh, that's true. But uh, a, 
good idea. It always has a chance. And what kind of startups are we seeing coming out of um, Iceland? Because obviously you've got so much ge geothermal power here. So are they based around that? Or? Um, they're not based around fishing, for sure. Uh, well, <laughs> or banking. Uh, they are based around fishing, actually. There, okay. are, there are some uh, innovative ideas around fishing. There are also innovative ideas around uh, geothermal energy, both on how to utilize it and uh, some... Uh, uh, Bio, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not into that. Biotech. Some, yeah, some biotech something. stuff, yeah. Bio something, basically. Yeah, bio, yeah. And I just want to go so, a bit, little bit back to, um, sorry, Karen. Sorry. I was going to say, oh, I was going to say. And then we have, uh, we have a lot of tech companies that are starting up, and, and the game industry is, is uh, coming on strong. And that's because we have a role model in the game industry, which is. You've got the biggest gaming company in the world here? Uh, the biggest uh, self-publishing game company, yeah, it's called CCP. Uh, people are more familiar with their game, which is EVE Online. Um, so uh, that has been an inspiration to a lot of people. So there are many uh, new game companies coming up, and it's very interesting to uh, follow them. Uh, there is one uh, game company that, that where you control the game with your mind. This is very interesting. Would you yeah. put nanodes on your, on your head or something? Yeah, yeah, you do that. Wow, that's uh, scary. It's, it's very exciting. I look forward to test it. <laughs> Maybe there's one, one day I can control you in my mind. Haha. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. No. My mind's a very messy place. <laughs>